<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, the article that I'm going to share with you proves once and for all, a woman has a price. And it does not matter if she's in a relationship with you. Only thing she needs is the right price and guess what? She will be getting her back blown out by other men. Now this article was sent to me by Lex Luthor and it was published on the 25th of July. NYC surgeon seeking divorce claims beauty queen wife led secret life as a high priced call girl court documents a prominent manhattan spinal surgeon's storybook marriage to a one-time beauty queen turned irreversibly ugly after he stumbled upon her secret life as a high-end hooker according to stunning court documents obtained by the daily news Dr. Han Jo Kim seeks an annulment of his once happy union with former Miss USA hopeful Regina Turner, alleging the dark haired beauty with a beaming smile earned nearly $700,000 in cash from her paying clients while leading a lucrative double life before and after their November 27th, 2015 wedding. Gentlemen, if the phrase never turn a hoe into a housewife had a face, Regina Turner would be that face. Divorce papers filed in Manhattan Supreme Court detailed how Kim first began to learn the truth about his wife in December of 2020, nine years after she served as Miss Connecticut in the annual pageant. While using a computer in one of the million dollar homes, Kim discovered a raunchy eye message meant for Turner that revealed her sexual encounter with another man, the documents alleged, and things only grew worse from there. Kim learned other wealthy men were paying Turner, including a prominent businessman, a New Jersey-based real estate executive, and an award-winning lighting designer, Kim says in court papers. A subpoena for Turner's bank records allegedly showed $675,030 in cash deposits from 2015 to 2021. The New Jersey real estate executive wrote checks, many for $2,000 each, made out to cash that were deposited in Turner's account, according to the records. Documents filed by Kim showed a total of $185,500 in deposits from an account in the executive's name. The lighting designer's company wired Turner a total of $116,000 over six years, according to bank records included in the court filing. Many of these individual payments were $10,000. Yet Turner claimed in January 
that her income was zero dollars and that she was quote unquote totally dependent on Kim for support. Papers read. In contrast, Kim earns a fortune at the hospital for special surgery. Gentlemen, I believe it was um, DDJ, a former guy who used to run with TFM, who said this. Every woman is a hoe. All you got to do is catch her on the right day. And I say this, every woman has a price. This woman was married to a surgeon and yet she was still hooking on the side. I would love to see how any woman would be able to justify this. <laughs> wow, gentlemen, just wow. <laughs> this goes to show you that no matter how much you think you can be enough for a woman, you will never be enough. Period. So gentlemen, stop trying. Now I'm not saying stop trying to just completely give up. I'm just saying, do not work yourself into an early grave to try to attract a woman to you. Those days are done. This is a great article that shows you even a quote unquote high value man is still nothing more than a giant pet wallet for a woman. I bet she did not bring so much as a red damn dime back to her husband. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Now, I'm not going to let the doctor off on this one. I'm not. They got married in 2015. In my humble opinion, he was too focused on the title that she had as a beauty queen. So, yeah, I have to say this. Him being smitten by her title and her looks, yeah, that kind of did set him up for this scenario. That's about all the blame that I will put on him. However, the woman, she perfectly executed a dual mating strategy. She had him as her home pet wallet while she was still selling herself on the side. Mm, mm, mm. Terrible. Just terrible. But it goes to show you, gentlemen, all women have the potential to lead a double life. And they will do everything in their power to make sure you know nothing about it. So, gentlemen, why would you put yourself through this stress. You know this man's business might suffer because of this, because he's not going to be in his right mind. Think of the amount of embarrassment that this guy has to go through, knowing that the woman that he loved, the woman that he provided for, the woman that he made his wife was nothing more than other men's whore. Well, at least he didn't put on the mask. He's just decided, you know what? Back to the streets you go. Now this goes back to something that I heard from Brother Oheen and Black Ram in one of their podcasts. And this is a, quite a powerful statement. Gentlemen, you cannot 
love the whole out of a woman. I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to add my own personal spin to it. You cannot love the whole or trauma of the past from a woman. You can't do it. A lot of us men, we try to do that. They give us sob stories of their past and we try to be that good guy for them. Nah, uh-uh, nope. You got past trauma, get therapy before you even come into my castle. You're not gonna mess up my foundation with your past, which ironically, that goes back to something that Fresh and Fit say. Men do not want a woman with a bad past. So this woman was actually selling herself before she got married, but she wanted to use the doctor as a golden parachute. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, well, read the full article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, the power will eventually go out. Feminism, your sexual revolution, and your dual mating strategy that the current environment allows will go out right along with it because more and more men every day are waking up and saying to hell with relationships. And I'm doing everything in my power to block men from coming to the plantation. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.